Hi, it's April from the Noble Garden. Today is May the 19th and it is a few days after doing the soapy water and I don't know how much it really helped. I've looked at the broccoli when they had the worms in it and I don't think it helped at all. Um, I did find an aphid and my husband actually told me that he spotted cucumber beetles out here and I know we haven't talked about those and I will throw you a picture if I don't find one to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and do this diamond tincture earth and since we talked so much about bugs I figured I should bring you out here with this. It's a very messy job. I get covered in it because it's powder but I'm going to set my camera up and let you kind of watch me put it up. Put it down. Okay guys, so we talked about this earlier this week and how this is a white powder. It comes with this little thing. I'm gonna fill it up and you'll see how I use it. When you're using this stuff, try really hard not to breathe it in because I've read that it's probably not good for, our, for us to breathe in. You see this thing? All you do is shoot it. <laughs> I find it kind of fun. <laughs> Anyways. I tell you not to breathe it in. I tell you not to breathe it in, but after just watching myself bomb and all that, it's probably kind of hard not to. There's still some in there. much time as us taking, I think I'm gonna try my hands. This is how I get dirty. This stuff is safe for all animals. So I know I talk about bird issues and I talk about, well, I don't really have rabbit issues, but I know other people do. If the rabbits and the birds get a hold of this, this isn't gonna hurt them. It really only hurts insects. And then when it comes to the food products, it's not gonna hurt us. I just wash it off. If it gets on any of my fruit and vegetables. I 
I live on a hill, so I have a big time trouble trying to get this to stand straight for you guys. I'm going to carry it around this time and let y'all just watch me. Hopefully, hopefully the video is not too shaky by walking around with it and not really paying attention to what I'm doing. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm literally just sprinkling this on here. It's really easy stuff. It's just messy. And you don't want this stuff to get wet. It works better dry. And I have no rain in my forecast. So it's going to literally, this is literally going to sit on these plants for quite a while. It is okay. Hopefully, teaching you guys about bug control is going to help me stay on top of this this year and maybe for once my garden won't be a habitat for bugs because I feel like sometimes all I garden for is the bugs because I'm trying really hard to figure out how to win this bug battle without having to dip it to seven dust long as I get the majority of it like it's got to fly through all that so I feel like all you gotta do is let them get on there and it should kill them All right, guys, I'm not kidding when I say you get dirty with this. I hope y'all can somewhat see, but I am covered head to toe. But let's hope we got the bugs. All right, guys. So the other part of this video that I wanted to get done was I have some bare spots in the garden that I noticed walking around and doing some things the last few days. And I really want to get some more flowers in. Um, I grow all kinds of different flowers. I don't know how much of that I have gone over with you guys. But I do just like to look at them. They're really pretty. But they are really good for bringing bees in. And certain flowers help with certain insects. And I can make a whole video about that one day. Um, when I have not light issues. Because I might run out of light doing this. I like to come out in the afternoons when the sun is going down. Because the temperature is much better. As you can see, I was just out here like 20 minutes ago. Putting down all this diamantaceous earth. Now I went in to go wash my daughter's hair and come back out and the sun's behind the trees and it's so much cooler out here and the shadow's not here. Like you guys can see me better. So I'm going to try and um, see how much you guys can watch me get done. This is where one of my red basils was, but that one of those frost killed it. So I have one more green that I had bought that I'm going to put here. Um, in my other video, I thought that these were purple basil, so I kind of put that header on there saying that. Then I come out and read the tag and realize it is red basil. I've not tried purple or red basil, so this is my first year with both of those, so I can't wait to see. But let me get this basil in. Alright guys, let's get this red basil in. I'm sorry, it's a green basil. years back or not a few years back last year when we put the soil in it was my top soil that we mixed with black cow and peat moss and then I put um, 
the last few growing seasons I've been putting pine down and it has totally changed the soil and then this last year I did put um I did put a layer of the top uh, compost I'm gonna come around and water that in but there we go there's that basil I had left the other thing I want to do is I've been reading and hearing from other uh, people on Facebook pages that planting radish around your squash and zucchini plants helps with borer, the borer bug, the issue I have. It might be too late for me to try this year, but next year when I um, first plant the squash seeds, I'm going to put these around with it too. So I just want to put a seed or two around all my squash plants right quick. I am literally pulling back a little bit of this straw, dropping me a seed and like a three corner kind of thing here hoping that a radish will pop up and maybe the borers won't like it i heard it is when they flower i'm willing to try it i put around all pumpkin too because pumpkins can get her squash if it doesn't help me this year then i'll most definitely try it next year the other thing i want to get transplanted today is this holy basil it's also called tulsi i think um i can see here i got something coming up and to be honest with you, I don't remember what I planted there because I have not kept any type of diary at all. But just by looking at the leafage, I can pretty much now see what the difference between is between weeds and this kind of stuff usually. But I'm going to go ahead and put it like right here. One of the reasons why I decided to grow holy basil is because I was reading that it could be used as a tea. Like the leaves can be steeped and used as tea. It does smell really good. I can smell it sitting here as small as it is. Um, so I wanted to give it a try because I've gotten into tea re recently. I bought seeds and had gotten me some seedlings started. They weren't easy to get started. But they didn't make it. So I bought these seedlings from another girl. Find two more places in the garden to put it because I had three plants in there. Guys, just messing with these itty bitty seedlings. This stuff smells amazing. I guess I'll put one up there somewhere and then I'll put one in the tomato bed somewhere. So this right here, that location that I put it was with the um, zucchini, well, zucchini area. One thing I feel like my tomato and pepper beds are missing are some flowers. I have a few marigolds in. I have, a, I think, one board seed that I saw. So I am going to go back around and I'm going to plant. I really like this vanilla. I really like this vanilla ice sunflower. It looks like it's going to be really pretty. So I'm going to put one of those, one or two of those in the corners of the beds. And then I'm going to go around and I'm going to plant some zinnias. Forge and Cosmos. Okay guys, I'm going to plant a basil in the middle of my corn bed. I highly recommend and tell you guys not to walk in your beds. However, if I cannot reach through my arms without hurting a plant, I'm gonna walk in the middle of my beds. This is one of those, don't do what you see, if it happens. a borge there. So I'm going to have to go down more this way to do it. I'm also realizing right now as I do this that this is going to be an impossible spot to water after I plant this. garden in before I had everything ready.
I really don't know how I'm going to water this. Actually, I've got a little scoop. other basil, this alone basil that's in here, I'm going to move it to the center because I always wanted a basil in here because I wanted it to grow real big and I feed it to my chickens. Basil is supposed to be one of those other herbs that you hear me talk about that's good for the chickens. I'm just going to move this to the center and let it grow. I'm going to go ahead and water it in too. So this roots have been disturbed. Alright guys, so I got to go around and water all the things that I planted. Um, with my scoop, I guess, so that I don't have to worry about getting the powder wet. Because, like I said, I don't want the powder wet. My camera froze and did not show you where I planted stuff in the tomato bed. So, I'm going to walk you around real quick and kind of just give you an overview. Sorry you didn't get to see me plant it. So, this is my first tomato bed. And I added Cosmos here at the end. I don't know much about Cosmos. I've never grew them before. I tried to do them indoor. Didn't work out very well. So, we'll see how it does now. This end right here, this is the second bed. I put the holy basil in. It already has a red basil, so I put the holy basil in with it. And then at this end, the last bed, I put a couple seeds in for a white sunflower that I'm super excited to see grow, and then just a regular basil. While we're on this last aisle, I'll go ahead and walk down and show you some more stuff I put in. I put a borage in, and borage is really important for tomato hornworms that you want to keep away from your tomatoes. So I put one in there and then I also put a board in there. This is the second bed. I put in a basil in the middle of the third bed and I put a marigold. Marigolds are really good because they're stinky and rabbits don't like them so it's to keep the rabbits out and bugs love it too. I know bees love it so there's your pollinators but it does distract other bees, other bad bugs as well but I will have to give you more information on that because I don't remember. And then at the end of this bed, I added some zinnias. This is the last bed. The middle bed, I went ahead and put some more zinnias in. And then this is the first bed, and I put borge and basil in right here. Um, I had a borge in. The frost damaged it. All right, guys. I think that's the best thing I'm going to be able to do tonight. It... I'm losing light and I just want to water them right quickly and call it a night. Thank you everybody for watching. If you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.